Hello all, seriously is here. This time, for sure, going to finish expeditiously. <laughs> totally, totally. Uh, we are at the second last waypoint. I just grabbed that, I looked around, got a nice view, uh, and I found a trade terminal over there, about a thousand units away. So we're just gonna quickly fly over to that, <coughs> grab the last chart waypoint, and then we're gonna do a little bit of warping around, because that's what we gotta do to finish this save up. Too high up, aren't we? Landing sequence unavailable. How about now? No? Alright, well, let's turn around. Because I'd like to be closer when we land. And if we break few trees, we break few trees. <laughs> uh, only the one. Okay. Alright. We might break that one taken off. We'll see what happens. <laughs> and if we've been to this one before and this is not the last trade, this, we've been here before. <laughs> Oh, why did I have to say such a thing? Why would I say such a thing? Okay, well, uh, let's take a look around from here then. Let's see if I can find anything from here. Okay, I can't. All right, well, we've got more maps. Didn't take me all my maps to find all those missing waypoints. Let's activate one and find something hopefully new. <laughs> uh, minor settlement. I found quite a few of those with these maps. These maps are very useful for finding those things. So if you are multi-tool hunting, definitely grab some of these maps. Normally, what I could do too is uh, find an uh, item to head towards and then fly slow between them and low and see what else I could see. That's only a minute away. We could do that, but we only need the one last one, right? So we'll just head straight to it, uh, up in orbit-ish. <laughs> Higher orbit so we go faster anyway. We don't want to take a whole minute to get there. We need to take a good 10 minutes to do some warping to random places that nobody have been. Has been, have been, has been, yeah. Places that nobody has been before. Okay, we're almost ready to begin that trek. Assuming that we have not been to this minor settlement. Oh, crash landing. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> Came in hot. Yeah, tractor beam at the landing pad was not ready to grab me at that speed. <laughs> all right, uh, I want to say that this doesn't look familiar, but they all look sort of familiar, so I'm just hopeful that we have to come to this one. Good, we have not. That should finish us off. We're done with the navigator. 60 waypoints charted. Excellent. That's phase five, done. Expedition phase five, finished. Check that out. <laughs> cool. Restore point saved. We have saved with those milestones unlocked. So it automatically went to Uncharted, the last thing that we have to do on this system, on this save. So let's get to it. What did it say, 23 out of 35? What is that, 12 warps? Assuming we don't find anything that other people have found before. We got some missions to hand in, or do there, but uh, you know, it doesn't matter. Where's this? That was a random click. <laughs> One warp down, hopefully. And it should keep track for us. There's no other, there's no other milestones for it to get confused with, so. Unless a mission pops up to tell us to do something, we should be good at keeping track of these. Oh, and of course, we have a freighter battle again. Vader Frattle. Where? Okay, next up, please. Oh, it looks like we're underneath. Flip right away. Oh wait, no, that's the top. Doesn't matter. Oh, that's a good guys. <laughs> All right, where's? Oh, did I miss that guy? I thought I finished. Well, we'll get him on the next pass. These guys are in my sights right now. And now they're gone. Okay, back to that guy. 
Nope, we're just gonna keep ignoring you. <laughs> Pay attention to me. All right, there you go. Attention paid. All right, discover star systems 24. Yep, we only need 11 more. So that one counted. Let's just go next door. Oh, hyperdrive has no fuel. Finally, we ran out of fuel. All right. No, I don't want to be hailed. <sighs> I wanted to refuel. <laughs> End communication. Let's refuel. Hyperdrive. We have one warp cell, but why? That'll refuel it all the way to full, and we've got way more than 11 warps left in us. Uh, no, we don't want to warp to where we are. We don't want to warp somewhere new. <laughs> Just a couple more of these warp screens to do. I am not sure how this save ends. I'm not sure what the progression is for what we do at the end of the save. We're going to explore that together in this episode. Uh, I'm going to not automatically delete this save, even if it automatically turns into a normal save uh, after I finish all of the milestones. I'm not going to delete the save until the next um, expedition starts until Expedition 2 begins, then I'll delete the save and start a new one. Or I'll delete the save if I want to start a new Expedition before Expedition 2 comes out in a couple of months. But in the meantime, let's keep warping. I, I didn't check, but I think that was new as well. Ichiaz is where we're headed next. It's very unlikely that any of these stars are going to be found by anybody. I am not near where anybody has been from the expeditions. I've gone up about 10 or 20,000 light years now. Uh, other people have done that too, but the odds of lots of or thousands of people going in the same direction is pretty slim when you're this far out. Yeah, first contact, five planets. But we're not scanning any of those. We don't need planet scans in this save. We need new stars discovered. There's some over here, 205 light years away. Doesn't have to have space stations, doesn't have to have an economy, just has to have not been found by anyone else before. So we're at less than 10 warps to go. We are at eight warps to go. <laughs> There's another one, Wood Deer, Wood Deer. Oh, uh oh, I got an eyelash stuck in my eye. That's not good. Well, I'm half blind. That's fine. We'll, we'll deal with that. <laughs> All right, Wood, Wood Beer. I could go for some Wood Beer. Uh, you know what, before we warp, you know, wh why don't we just wait for that to disappear and have it count for us in the Uncharted. I don't want to accidentally warp, uh, you know, ten times and have only four of them count because, you know, I was just too uh, quick on the draw to warp to the next star. This one just happens to be a three-star economy. We could take a quick peek around. It's not going to take too much of our time, is it? <laughs> The drive to explore is strong, and I cannot wait to get back to it. Uh, this save has been a lot of fun. I really enjoyed this style of gameplay. I'm definitely going to play the next expedition. Uh, but I really want to get back to my permadeath save and my normal save. I've been ignoring them almost completely this whole time, and I'm, I don't know, not ashamed, but I miss them. I miss my other saves. All right, well, there's a nice looking grassy planet. I think it has orange water, a dead planet with a moon that I can't see because it's behind it. Uh, yeah, not, not my favorite color combo over there. Oh, uh, what do we got there? Scalding planet, okay, that's about it. Let's head out of here, go to the next system. We need some more. This one has no economy or race discovery. It's an uncharted system. So has any players been here? Because that's the only thing that matters for this milestone. <laughs> I 
No, I am the first one to the Higatl system, the Higatl 10. Okay, we did. We just did it again. We just did it again. Back out. 30. Okay, five more warps if I don't jump the gun. I mean, maybe even if I do. I don't know that that has any effect at all. I just want to be safe and make sure. We are getting a good view at the, uh, you know, the engines and the air vents on my Explorer here as we warp endlessly. <laughs> All right, first contact. Two planets. That won't take long to scan, but they don't look worth scanning, to be honest. They both look like glitch decoration planets. <laughs> we'll go to this green star right next door. And I think it's just three more warps after this. Well, it did put something interesting in our way, but that looks like it has red sky over there. So even if it is a lush, I do not trust that that is a great planet. No, it's a desert anyway. <clears throat> so let's get out of here. <laughs> Yeah, three more warps, we're at 32 of 35. I think after, whoops, I saw, mm, no, I thought that was a three star one. After we warp here, we will be at 33. I wanna get to 34 and then I'm gonna make a save. So after this warp, I'm gonna care where I warp to. We're gonna get a three star system to go to, I think. And that'll be the final star system of this save that we map, that we chart. I'm not even going to attempt to say the name of this system. I, I might. No, I'm not going to. It's gone already. <laughs> All right, we got credit for visiting here. We're going to work one more time to hopefully a three star economy. And it doesn't matter what color star it is, although a yellow star would be best because then my ship could get there. And there's a Corvax one right there. We'll head to that. A Viking one would have a little bit of extra nanites, but that's okay. The save does not need to earn anything else anymore. We just need a place to lay down the ship and make an autosave in case things go weird when we finish this expedition. As far as I know, the bugs surrounding finishing an expedition have been ironed out by the time I'm playing this, so we shall see. I, d I wasn't afraid of encountering any anyway. I'm far behind the curve with everyone else. Ooh, a three-star economy with a very short runway. I might come back to the save to see what, uh, to see what lands here. <laughs> The navigator is complete. We are at 34 of 35. Okay, so we have a restore point saved. Let's hand in the navigator. We got some scanner movement. I don't think I can equip any of that, but we could maybe re-roll some stuff to get better results, right? Okay, that, that's that one handed in. Now let's hand in phase five overall. There we go. We got pioneer title. Excellent. Pioneer spurious leads. <laughs> All right. Nice, nice, nice. And is that it for that? Okay. Let's take a quick peek and make sure we've got everything. Click, 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 click. All right. Phase four. Click, 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 click. All right. And we know we've done phase three and all that. So we're just handing in phase four. Boom. One more warp and we are done. Let's make one more save now that we've handed in all of those milestones. And let's warp somewhere new. I didn't like the look of those two ships that I saw landing, so maybe I won't come back and visit for the uh, good ship hunting. <laughs> okay, where are we going to go for our last warp? Hey, why don't we go to Grey Moses? <laughs> because it's a three-star Viking system right next door, basically. Shouldn't take too, too long to load in, hopefully. I wonder what the, the thing that determines how long a star system takes to load in is. Is it the size of the star system, like how many planets it is? Does a two-star system load in faster than a six-planet system? Sorry. 
star system. Six stars would be pretty cool. Well, there we go. That's a pretty interesting looking planet. Uncharted, complete, tropical. Okay, let's go take a peek at that. Expedition phase four. We got the streamlined jetpack unlocked. Excellent, excellent. Expedition complete. Expedition one, the pioneers. Reward, golden vector starship. Awesome, we're done. <laughs> and we get the awesome uh, music for visiting a new galaxy playing. The, the end of game music. Hey, that's not a bad looking freighter. color the grass is. Looks blue, but I can't see very much land. We'll wait for that to pop in while this great music plays. Okay, yeah, blue, blue ground, blue grass. Head to uh, daytime over here. Uh, blue sky, excellent. This is gonna be a very blue planet, except for the water. Oh, green patches in the grass, that's cool. Nice view. Yeah, not too bad. Very nice planet. What do we got there? Ooh, an archive. Where are the landing pads? Oh. Interesting positioning, guys. That, that leg is not really touching. You might want to think about... Uh, where you build your stuff in the future. I am going to take advantage of your landing pads and land here, but I, I think you guys might have jumped the gun on your groundbreaking ceremony here. All right, what do we got on this planet? Beautiful weather. I could tell. <laughs> yeah, I want to go take a look at that foot. <laughs> Jeepers Creepers, that is on by the skin of its teeth. I like that it, it goes down beneath the ground level too a bit here. That's cool. It is hanging on. All right. I would not put a building this tall on such a flimsy support, on such a precarious cliff edge, in my opinion. Even with the other three legs, uh, you know, planted nice. Wait, is there only three legs total? Oh my gosh. Yeah, I would not put all that weight on that over there. That's a bad idea. <laughs> Even with all of this stuff attached over here, I don't think that's going to support. Look how tall these things are, right? Crazy. <laughs> all right. Well, that's the save wrapped up. We're done. Let's hand in these rewards. Let's go to the space station. Or should we call in the uh, freighter? Maybe we're in a colored star system, aren't we? All right, yeah, let's check. Oh, oh, okay. It's a yellow star. We can call in the freighter. Do it out here. I don't like the background color of this space. The last system we were in was nicer, and that uh, system a couple of episodes ago with the red background was really cool. All right, no asteroids, please. Thank you. Why not? Other freighters, right? Well, then stop spawning them in when I stop pulsing. Cheapers. <laughs> there we go. Quickly land and hand in these rewards. We might have to go to the anomaly to pick some of them up on this save, but that's what we'll do. OK, 
Okay, bam, autosave made. Let's go to the expeditions tab. Hand in phase four, where's the, oh, my inventory is full, okay. Uh, it's not, oh, it must be too full, okay. I'll delete that, I don't need those charts anymore, that's barely any dust. Yeah, that should do, right? Let's try again. Collect reward, there we go. Lots of stuff for this one. Oh, he included some slots. <laughs> uh, cargo, sure. There we go. Exosuit upgraded. We got some uh, money items to hand in. And the uncharted reward received. Excellent. Awesome. All right, what's next? Hand in that and get our uh, streamlined jetpack. Cool. And expedition complete. Now we can hand in this. Do we just click on that? I think we just click on this. Let's try that. Yeah, that seems to be it. Compare. Well, the damage is way higher, but it should be for a fighter. <laughs> Uh, the hyperdrive range is, yeah, that's about right for a fighter anyway, but that's terrible. <laughs> this was a base 177 point something when I got it. So, yeah. But we're definitely going to claim the ship. Because why would we not? Where's it going to go? Does it just show up? Or do we have to call the freighter in somewhere? Hey, that's not a bad looking fighter. A little bit ostentatious, I think, but... Silver and red. Cool. Yeah, where's my gold one, though? All right, well, we're going to get in the ship. We're going to fly out of here. And we're going to call the freighter back in. I guess we should have just done this while we were flying. And then called the freighter in. <laughs> I didn't know. All right, let's just try this. What? That's my own freighter in the way. Don't worry about that. <laughs> Alright, I want to see a golden vector in here, please. And we're going to take it out for a quick test flight. And we're going to head to the anomaly. Oh yeah, I saw something hiding behind that pillar. Ta-da! Excellent. Wow, look at this thing. It is so cool. It's so shiny. From all those different angles. I love it. It's not exactly the theme of this save to be gold, but uh, it's pretty cool. It's a very cool display piece, at least. Nice golden trails on it. Let's get a screenshot. Uh, I've, I've lost how to face. All right, let's get a screenshot. <laughs> okay, no, I almost lost myself again there. <laughs> yeah, what's going on? My camera controls are not behaving very good. Maybe I can do, can I do one and three? I can, okay. It's not really helping me control it though. Oh, those dark gunmetal wings look so good. Very cool, lots of detail in this thing too. All these engravings and stuff like that. It's a little beat up. I, I see a little bit of scuffage here, but it's still gold. <laughs> There's still a ton of detail. I love it. What a cool ship. All right, so off to the anomaly. Let's take this thing to the anomaly. Why not? We can just call it in wherever, right? <laughs> sort of feels like this ship, I mean, obviously the ship is not as fast. Uh, well, let's take a peek. What do we got equipped on this thing? 
Phase beam, don't care about that. Oh, I have a bunch of pulse drives. Oh, maybe I do. No, this is about the same maneuverability, but that doesn't mean it's faster. Or slower, whichever. You know what I mean. So, let's take a look. Let's take, see what we can do here. Collect expedition rewards. Cool. Now, I, I don't know if there's a bug where I can collect an unlimited number of golden vectors and keep scrapping them for... I don't care about that. I'm not going to keep this save anyway. If that's possible, that's sort of a shame. You know what I mean? You know, don't do that. That's... That's cheating. <laughs> All right, well, let's claim everything. Right? Why not? And maybe we'll go equip some stuff. Okay, I don't want to collect that, and we'll collect that. There we go. Some of them disappeared. Some of them say previously collected. I believe the ship will say previously collected, too. I would imagine it would. And this is how you know you're done pretty much the... Uh, the end is if you see people with this backpack equipped. Uh, style. There we go. Yeah, I'll save that change. Simple as that. Nice. It is very streamlined. It hardly takes up any backpack space. Look at the profile like this. Oh, this might be good for hunting starships. <laughs> yeah, I like the wings on this one even uh, better than the other jetpack model that we got. Cool stuff. Well, that's been it. That's been Expeditions. I think this has been the uh, maybe second only episode that's been under 30 minutes. <laughs> but we're all done. That's it. That's been it for Expedition number one. We will be back with a totally different character, I'm assuming, because I don't know how the game works, but I'm thinking it's random. Oh, hey, look at that. Our little flashlight eyeball guy is square. I love this backpack. This is really cool. <laughs> I'm going to go try equipping some of this stuff on my legacy saves and stuff like permadeath and normal. See how that goes. But until the next expedition, everyone, have a really good time.